in a world with animals who have sharp teeth and claws, it is a smart idea to stay protected with a good piece of armor. The armor that is used by wildlife ranges from spikes, shells, stinging tentacles, and even other animals. So here are the top 10 best armor in the animal kingdom. Number 10 is the hedgehog. It's obvious why they're only number 10 on this list. The spikes are not really that impressive and they probably don't work so well. So they decide to up the ante by covering the spikes with bacteria filled saliva that can cause a nasty infection. Number 9 is the Forney Devil. They keep themselves safe from predators with hard and sharp spines that can deter almost any predator and make it hard to swallow. Number 8 is the Armadillo. They have plates and dermal bones that are covered in small and overlapping scales that are made of bone with a covering horn on their back and armor on their head, tail, and limbs. The armadillo is known for rolling into a ball to keep itself safe, but the only armadillos that are known to do that is the dree banded armadillo. Number 7 is the muskox. During the muskox's breeding season, which occurs in late June to early July, the males will fight for dominance and mating rights over the herd. The fights go like this. They rub their preorbital glands against their legs, bellow loudly, display their horns, back up 65 feet, and then run into each other head first. They will keep ramming their heads into each other until one muskox backs down. Their brain would be completely mush if it wasn't for their fixed skull that absorbs the impact. Number 6 is the pangolin. Sadly, these animals are endangered because of their scale-like armor that is made of keratin. As babies, their scales are soft but become harder as they age. When they feel threatened, they will curl themselves into a ball. They hide their face and feet in the ground and keep their back towards the threat. Number 5 is the turtle. The turtle's hard shell help keeps the animals safe from predators. Most species can hide their head, limbs, and tail inside of their shell. There are three parts of the shell. The top part is the carapace, the bottom part is the plastron, and there is a bridge that keeps those two parts together. Most turtle species have shells that are covered in hard scoops, aka shields, that adds protection. They are made of keratin. Number 4 is the hermit crab. The hermit crab does have a hard shell that is used to keep themselves safe and they change their shells as they get larger. While it can keep many predators from killing and eating the crab, animals like the octopus can break the shell so they need some better armor. So these crustaceans decide they need a lot more protection. Their solution is to cut a sea anemone off of the ground and attach them on their back, stinging any octopus or other predator that tries to kill them. Number 3 is the nudibranch. The nudibranch takes sea anemones and will take the toxins from those animals and bring it to their stinging tentacles to keep predators away. Number 2 is the porcupine. A common myth is that porcupines will shoot their quills at their frets, but that is nothing but a lie. When a predator grabs the porcupines, the quills will break off. Sometimes those quills can give you a nasty infection. Some quills have barbs on them to keep the quills inside of the predator. Before the porcupine will start to move backwards to stab the fret, they will shake to warn their fret and it makes a rattling sound, which can scare off a predator if it's smart. And number one is the assassin caterpillar. These guys have little spines filled with hemotoxic venom and when something touches them, the venom goes through the bloodstream. The venom will start to break up the blood vessels and the blood cells. So much blood will pull into the skull that it will actually squish the brain. It is fatal to humans. These are great adaptations that these animals need in order to survive in the wild because they will keep many different predators away from them.